Hey guys, it's Mo Master for here, author, speaker, coach, and welcome to another edition of Motivated Muscle, where you learn the mindset techniques to help you burn stubborn body fat and add lean muscle. And in this video, I want to talk to you about staying optimistic, staying positive, and why it's so important in your journey of getting in shape and staying in shape. See, very often our minds are filled with doubt and limiting beliefs, and it, this is perpetuated or made worse, if you like, said differently, because of the fact that we will hear things in the media and we are often surrounded by negative influences and people who will oftentimes talk us down or try and talk us out of our newfound inspiration, our newfound desires of getting in shape. Now the reason this happens is because oftentimes it makes other people feel insecure if you start transforming your body or if you're going through a personal change. Now there's an in interesting quote I like to remember by Wyatt Woodsmall, which is, People don't like it when you change because the things they use to manipulate you no longer work. So for example, if you've got that friend who always wants you to go out on the weekend with them themselves so they can moan about life and stuff, but they always say, oh, listen, I'll buy the drinks, just come out with me and then they can whinge to you about their life. Then if you start getting healthy and you no longer want to drink alcohol, then that person can no longer be able to use the manipulation of alcohol because that's no longer part of your values, your virtues and your character. So, this is why it's so important to stay optimistic and, and positive because if you've got a positive outlook for your life, then you're going to be able to, able to achieve positive things, right? It's so important to stay optimistic about the future and this is really a way of keeping your mind going towards where you want to get to. Okay, there's a really great book by Viktor Frankl called Man's Search for Meaning. And it's very interesting actually because he talks about people who are locked up in the concentration camps. And this is like, it's an old book, it's a really, really great read, I highly recommend you check it out. But he basically talks about people who were in the concentration camps and how they managed to endure the time when they were actually locked up. And basically what he did, what he was saying is that there was two different ways to, to think about it. He said, you either can change your life circumstances, your physical environment and your physical you know, environment and, and the things you do, or you have to change the way you perceive your circumstances. Okay, And that actually is the more powerful of the two, because if you're ever in a situation where you physically can't make any changes, which is very unlikely to happen in this day and age, unless you're in a prison cell or something, but if you have the mindset of saying, you know what, um, like if you're being optimistic about your future and stuff and you, you're looking at it from a totally different light, then that is actually, it, you're creating a future that doesn't exist yet. But that will actually give you hope and inspiration to work towards that. So what am I actually saying here? You might be like saying, well, which one is it? Is it, do you, are you optimistic or, or you know, are you just realistic in this, in the moment you're in? Now, I like to think of myself as a realistic optimist. So what the, what that basically means is that, I'm real. I'm optimistic about the future. Like I've got massive, optimistic, huge dreams and goals that I'm working towards. Okay, but I am realistic about where I'm at right now. Okay, I realize that I am not yet the weight I want to be. I'm not yet the size I want to be. I'm not yet the shape in shape as I want to be. But I'm realistic about that. But I'm optimistic that if I train harder, I eat better foods, I get around more successful people, I immerse myself in better books, and I, I train my mind, that eventually I will reach my goal. If you look at my videos from like three months ago, you'll see I was not in the same shape as I'm in now, right? But I had a vision of looking like this today. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I had a vision three months ago, and if I'd have said three months ago I'm going to lose 30 pounds, most people thought, yeah, whatever, you're going to lose 30 pounds in that three or four months or whatever. It's just taking me to do this, right? But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what other people think. This is my other, other big point here, guys. It doesn't matter at all. Stop caring about what other people think. Just take your actions and you'll change the way they think about you in the future anyway. And it doesn't even matter what they think about you, positive or negative. You want to be this, right? This is a saying I think Deepak Chopra said, I am totally independent of the good and bad opinions of others. I'm totally independent of the good and bad opinions of others. Now, so often in life, we like to say we're independent of the bad opinions, but we still crave the good opinions, right? Be independent of both. They're both a form of slavery. Okay, guys, so be optimistic. Be realistically optimistic, okay? Now, make sure that realism doesn't start being all like, you know, I'm out of shape, so I can never get in shape. 
don't I said realistic optimist okay optimistic about the future realistic about where you're at right now and then start taking action every single day towards your goals and you will get there you will get in the best shape for you okay so hope you enjoyed this video if you want more mindset techniques like this click the link below this video go to my website and get access to my seven mindset keys completely free of charge my gift to you guys and you'll get onto my newsletter and you'll get more and more cool co content going forward right I love you and leave you. See you guys very soon. And don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.